Next up, Kansas State, Montana State. All right, so we are going to the East Regional between K-State and Montana State, a 3-14 matchup. Now, it's always hard to make the case for the 14 seed, and you're going to have a hard time having me do it (laughs) because Montana State played two quad one games, and they were ugly. They lost to Arizona by 20, Oregon by 30. Not close. Now, I'm looking at this, and I'm saying, okay, if you want me to make the case real quick for Montana State, here's the case for Montana State. The case for Montana State is that K-State has been one of the sloppiest teams in the Big 12 this season. That's a fact. When it comes to turnover margin, they have the third worst turnover margin in the Big 12, only ahead of Texas Tech and Oklahoma, two teams that obviously did not make the big dance. On the flip side, I'm looking at a Montana State team that is second in the big sky in turnover margin on the plus side of things. So if K-State's sloppy, and you have a Montana State team that catches a hot hand early. They're not a great three-point shooting team. They're in the bottom half of the big sky, but if they catch a hot hand with a few turnovers, maybe K-State is in some early trouble. But what do you like in this tournament? You like having senior guards, or I should say upperclassmen in the backcourt. doesn't have to be seniors, guys who have been around, and that's what Kansas State has with Marquise Noel and Keontae Johnson. And these guys at the leadership position, especially Noel in the background, but in in the backcourt, Johnson technically is a forward, but he can lead this team as well. I want those guys on the ball, in the big spots, preventing any upset from taking place. And I believe they'll be able to do that with relative ease. So give me Kansas State 68, Montana State 58 in the 3-14 matchup in the East Regional of the 2023 NCAA Tournament. 